Welcome everyone. Would you like to take a look at the world event this week? It's called Shooting Stars. Shooting Stars in the Sky. And the medal we get is the Medal of Invention. 160% skull damage for all troops. There's exactly one weapon that can convert to skulls. There's one troop that has a 50% chance to create seven skulls. What a wonderful job by the devs again. According to Saltipatra, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that right, I really don't care. Uh, this is the second time in four or five world events that their metal choice made absolutely no sense, but from what she said, working as intended, that's what we meant to do. <clears throat> but they didn't even address it until, you know, two, three, four weeks later. But that's neither here nor there. Good thing the community manager doesn't address things like that, but... And you can forward this video to her and she'll just ignore it, just like she ignores everything. If she doesn't like it, too bad. Because this is YouTube and I can stream this game all I want or make videos on it and I can complain all I want. But let's not complain. Let's go ahead and take a look at what I'm using. I bought uh, the first three tiers in the shop, which with our rewards gave me enough to get the one complete medal of invention. And I can show you what I'm running what I'm going to switch to most likely and then give some ideas on what teams you can use. Uh, before I do that, if you have a whole bunch of different choices on the screen, Tina is going to be the choice you always want to choose. After that, if you have no Tina, but you have Dracos and Carnex, you always want to pick Dracos. Carnex would be next and then you'd want to pick your Epic and your ultra rare would be last. So there's just five choices and those are the that's the order you would want to do them in. So here's the team I'm using, at least for right now. Uh Doomed Axe, which does damage to all enemies and converts purple to Doom Skulls. The only weapon that does that for this event. And Aquaticus, which I'm basically using, you know, it does some light splash damage, three random enemies, not bad, but it explodes half the blue gems on the board, so it does help create more mana. And Pan, who is a wild folk, does damage to three enemies, knocks them all around. And all wild folks gain one life in magic when matching four or more gems. King Silenus is there just for a 50% start on Pan. Um, I've gotten up to where between health and armor, uh, they're about at 600 combined right now, and Doom Dex is not cutting it that well anymore. I even had to switch to Sentinel, just for a class that has 40% skill reduction. My thoughts are that I'm probably going to switch from Doom Dex, even though it's a skull-based event. And I'm probably going to go Rope Dart and just strip armor because pretty much every enemy so far has skull reduction attached to it. If you don't have Doomed Axe, Rope Dart might be a good choice. Uh, another good choice that I was looking at could possibly be Flesh Ripper. Eliminate all armor from an enemy, deal damage boosted by armor eliminated, and that's on a 3 to 1 ratio. If they've got 300 armor, well, you're doing about 140 damage right there. Yeah, see, it's on a 3 to 1 ratio. And another thought would be for the lower level people that don't have anything like that, you could use Golden Cog, which will basically double their armor. And I would go ahead and put that on Paladin. It only deals damage to one enemy, but if you don't have Aquaticus, Pan, something like that, uh, deals damage to an enemy boosted by my armor, and it's on a one-to-one -one ratio. 
it's not bad. It's not great. Uh, another thought would be if you do have rope dart, uh, flesh ripper, something like that, is using Tartarus, who is a Depths of Sin legendary. And you can get that with Chaos Shards, hopefully. And he does damage to an enemy boosted by their attack. Uh, there's at least one troop that I've fought so far that can raise attack. And, you know, I'm up to where they have about 110, 120 attack, each one of them. And that's on a 1 to 1 ratio, so that's like 150 damage, let's just say. Not bad for a single troop. So, those are kind of my ideas right now. The only other thing is Kobold. I always have to say it that way, sorry. Is Kobold deals damage to an enemy boosted by skulls, then either gain an extra turn or create seven skulls. Not a big fan of creating seven skulls when you can't control where they go. I prefer skull converters, so... Those are just a few ideas I have for, you know, any level of player. I'm probably going to switch out King Silenus, go with Rope Dart, and I'm not sure what I'm going to do here. I'm probably going to keep Aquaticus in Pan and just, you know, plink skulls whenever they're available using Rope Dart to strip armor and... I'll just have to take it nice and slow. I'll probably keep a class with 40% skull reduction. I may not. It depends on if I want a class that starts with a specific color storm. So, anyways, I hope that does help, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.